Okay, in this tutorial, we'll be solving for a uh, heat of a reaction using um, delta HS or heats of formation data. So usually uh, in your textbook, at the end of every chemistry textbook in the appendix, you'll find this huge list of uh, you'll find this huge list of tabulated data, and it's uh, of thermodynamic data, and you'll find a delta delta HS heats of formation for various different types of compounds. Um, and you can actually get, so for a chemical reaction, you could use calorimetry to solve for delta H, like by experiment. Or if you looked up um, delta HF data for everything that shows up in a reaction, so let's say you have A plus B creates C plus D, um, you could find, every, like there's a delta HF value for everything here, C, D, B, and A. And then there's a formula you can use to get the delta H for this reaction. Okay, and uh, I'll go over the, the formula is actually here on this bullet point, the last bullet point in this slide. So um, you just look up uh, all the delta H F data for each individual reactant and product. Okay, and then use the mole amounts here. So we'll call this X, Y, or actually W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, and then you just multiply these mole amounts by each one, and then you plug it into this formula. Okay, um, so let's go over uh, let's go over an example. So it's it's the uh, sigma meaning the sum of. So if I if I were to use this equation up here, it would be uh, the sum of um, Y. Time. Let's not let's not do that actually. So uh, let, let's just go straight into a problem. One very quick note here before we do the problem is uh, heats of formation is zero for elements in their most stable form. So for example, and this is actually related to the previous tutorial, if carbon is graphite and solid, if if you see this uh, graphite comma solid, the heat of formation for this substance. The heat of formation for this substance is zero. Okay, so you will not find this value in the appendix because it's zero. Everyone knows it's zero, so they don't list it as zero. Um, the diatomic gases. Okay, so like this, this one especially is really common. Okay, oxygen, O2. This one is really common. Okay, because it's it's everywhere in chemical reactions, and that delta HF. Um, heat of formation is also zero. Okay, another example is like if you had um, s liquid iron, that would definitely have a heat of formation. Okay, but um, solid Fe does not, so the heat of formation of solid Fe would, would be zero. Okay, so let's go into a problem here. Um, so it says calculate delta H reaction for the combustion of glycine. So you look at some table data and you find the uh, heat of formations for everything that's here. So we have one, two, three, four, five things. And so um, glycine, this would be negative 532.9. Oxygen, as we just covered in the previous slide, is actually in its stable um, standard state form. So this number would be zero. Okay, you won't find it in a table of data. Um, so yeah, elements by themselves uh, in their stable state will be zero. Okay, um, for this molecule is negative 33.51. CO2, negative 393.51. Uh, and then uh, water. So water is going to have some different ones, whether it's liquid, gas, or solid, actually. So the enthalpy for liquid water is negative 285.83. Okay, and so plugging these numbers in, uh, I get the following. So um, I like to use, uh, so delta H RxN equals sigma, uh, the, the delta H of the uh, products, okay, minus the sum of the mole amounts of every heat of formation of the reactants. Okay, and so... I like to use brackets to make sure this negative sign gets applied to this entire term. So it's a lot easier if you keep it in brackets. So I'll put three 
times, so I'll take care of this one, negative 285.83, okay, plus uh, 3 times negative 393.51, plus, um, that's only 1, times negative 33.51, okay, and then close the brackets, subtract, and then open new brackets and then put your reactants here. So minus 2 times negative 532.9. Okay, and then close the brackets. Okay, you could you should be able to enter this all in one shot in your calculator. Uh, for sig figs, I like to just look at the decimal points since you're adding these. And your lowest decimal point is 1. So your final answer should have one decimal point. So I get, for my answer, I get negative 1,000. 5.7 kilojoules okay and this is kilojoules per uh, this should actually be per mole of reaction so every time this reaction happens as written okay then it's uh, this is how much heat is released